The mega fight between Gervonta Davis and Floyd Mayweather is officially seeing the light of day. Floyd has finally decided to come out of retirement and give Tank the fight of his life. But hey, we don't have to wait till the fight night to see some action between these cause their final face two. Face just dropped and let's just say it got more heated than ever. We're diving into some serious heat that went down on Day Zien. The face-to-face -face between the legendary Floyd, Money, Mayweather, and the rising star, Gervonta Tank Davis. There's a lot to discuss with this one, so without further ado, let's take a deep dive into this drama. All right, let's set the scene. You've got Floyd Mayweather, the GOAT, the guy who turned defense into an art form. Undefeated at 50-0, he's a living legend, a boxing genius who knows every trick in the book. But being the best of your time doesn't necessarily make you the king of today. Enter Gervonta Davis, Mayweather's protege and a knockout machine with a jaw-dropping 94% KO rate. The guy has 30 fights, 30 wins, with 28 of those coming by knockout. He's fierce, he's hungry, and he's shaking up the boxing world. But here's the plot. He's also been trained by Floyd. Floyd is the one who took Tank's career to the next level. So, what happens when mentor and student clash in the ring? Let's dive in and find out. We know these two always had a heated rivalry. And Tank has always wanted to dance with Floyd in the ring. Tank has always been, compared to Floyd, his whole career. This is his shoot to show the world who's better. Everyone wants to see that showdown. Gervonta Davis versus Floyd Mayweather is the fight to make. With all the drama and history involved between these two guys, everyone from around the world will tune in to see this epic showdown. Luckily for all the boxing fans, that mega fight will see the light of day sooner than you think, as Tank Davis himself revealed that this matchup is taking place this September. Yep, you heard that right. New deal, seven fight deal, which is music to the ears of many boxing fans. You get to see you in action for several more years. What type of names are we talking about on those seven names? Uh, whoever you name, they could be in it. If I name some fighters, can you say yes or no? Yep. Shakur Stevenson? Yep. Ryan Garcia? Yep. Devin Haney? Yep. Isak Cruz? Yeah, but there's two people I already beat already, but yeah. Errol Spence. Outside the ring. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, September. No. Tiafimo Lopez. Yeah. Out of all of those guys, who do you think is the most difficult opponent for you? Floyd Mayweather. Gervonta Davis is seriously amped up and ready to throw down. The guy's itching for a fight. Their face-off with Floyd Mayweather got so intense that security had to jump in. If it weren't for the security, we wouldn't have to wait any longer to see this one go down. The beef between these two is real, and it was all out in the open during that heated exchange. Tank came with the same energy he was showing on social media. The guy promised to KO Floyd if he ever saw him in public. This isn't just a fight, it's personal, and things are about to get even wilder. All right, let's break this down. We've got two huge egos clashing. Floyd Mayweather, the seasoned champ, has always been in control calling the shots in his own career, and Tank's too. But here's the twist. Tank is on the rise and is outgrowing his protege status. In a recent interview, Tank revealed he's landed a deal that's way bigger than anything Floyd ever scored. They call Floyd Money Mayweather. But right now, it's Tank who's stacking the serious cash. And, well, Floyd isn't exactly thrilled about it. Set you off, and she was like, I gotta do that. A lot of people don't know that what Floyd do. 
He sat. Every- so you feel like it was a sub? Like he was subbing you? Like oh, he, like he that, he was going at me. Mm. He was going at me, yeah. and I knew for sure he was going at me. That's why I went at him. It's yeah. no reason for me to go at Floyd. Yeah, that's you know? what I was thinking. Cause it's been, I feel like y'all y'all got I would say love hate, but it's been like the last interview you showed them love. This week it was whatever. But is that sometimes like you know is it just like big bro little bro seeing things different or what is it? To you? No, it just. It, Floyd don't never, he felt as though I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm at that point where as though I passed him. Mm. And I, and I'm doing it at a young age. Wait, like, when Floyd was 20, uh, 29, you'll see, bro. Yeah. That deal that I'm talking about. Yeah, oh, that's, that the, deal, that's a part that's of deal, he, ain't, he don't know about that yet. Mm. But that's bigger than his deal. Damn. Wow. And y'all <laughs> just, and I'm just releasing it. That's exclusive, that's yeah. exclusive. Bigger than Floyd deal? Yeah. Take no cap, nigga, that's a lot of bread. You'll see, it's okay. gonna come out. It's like the classic student versus master showdown, but with a twist. This time, the student has the power to KO the master. And that's what's hyping up this whole situation. Floyd's legacy is on the line. He's been untouchable, unbeatable, and has never hit the canvas in his whole career. But if Tank takes him out, it changes everything. For Tank, this is the make or break moment. Beating Floyd wouldn't just make him the next big thing. It would solidify him as the new face of boxing, the guy who took down the GOAT. But you've got to ask, why is Floyd Mayweather even thinking about coming out of retirement to fight Gervonta Davis? The guy's already got more money than he could ever spend and doesn't need the fight for any reason. So what's really behind it? It's straightforward. Floyd is fed up with Tank's constant disrespect. My thing, my thing is, I've always been there for him from day one. Um, we had a game plan, and my game plan was to help him become world champion and take things to that next level. And I've, I've always been there for him. And just over the years, you can see I've always been positive, always said great things about him, always pushed him to be great. And um, But over the years, it's constantly going on the Internet, take a shot at Floyd. Take a shot at Floyd. Take a shot at Floyd. Uh, constantly be disrespectful. Constantly be disrespectful. When all I ever been was respectful to try to help this fighter um, go as far as he could possibly go. That's all I ever did. Tank Davis and Money Mayweather used to tight. So where did it all go wrong? Well, Tank can take it from here. Gervonta Davis revealed some shocking news. Floyd Mayweather hired guys to jump him while he was out on runs. That's right. The only time Tank is unarmed is when he's out running, and Floyd took advantage of that. Mayweather spied on Tank and even shared his whereabouts with Tank's previous opponent, Frank Martin. Can you believe it? Frank Martin was the one who spilled the beans, but Floyd didn't stop there. Oh, no. He went even further. We all know Tank Davis and Floyd Mayweather worked together for a long time. If there's one guy who knows all of Tank's moves, it's gotta be Mayweather. And guess what Floyd did next? He outed all of Tank's moves to Frank Martin. That's right, Floyd gave away all of Tank's secrets. And let's just say, Gervonta Davis was not too happy about it. You know he the one, you know he the one told Frank that I was running at 5 o'clock, I mean 7 o'clock in the morning, Friday. He told Frank that. He was giving Frank tips and stuff like that. I seen his people's uh, drive by while I was uh, running. It's cool. It's, it's all right. I don't really think too much of it. it ain't, he's not going to hurt me. You know what I mean? So it, it, it's, it's good to be with him than be cool with him because he can do some crazy stuff. He'll picture him. Bad situation. Unfortunately for Frank, Floyd's training did not account for much in his fight against Tank Davis. Frank Martin went to sleep just like most of Tank's opponents. And then there was the Dubai incident. Now, if you're unaware of the drama that went down between Tank and Floyd at the Dubai airport, then you're seriously missing out. But hey, we're gonna fill you in on this tea real quick. Mayweather was living it up in Dubai, soaking in the sun and luxury. 
But just as he was about to head back to the States, something wild went down at the airport. Picture this. Floyd, relaxed and ready to fly, suddenly spots Tank Davis. And if you think that's crazy, wait till you hear what happened next. Tank threw a punch at Floyd. And no, I'm not talking about a little slap. This was Tank's terrifying left hook, the same punch that ended Frank Martin's career. Floyd has never been hit this hard, not even when he was going head-to-head -head with guys much stronger than him in the boxing ring. Looks like this Dubai vacation wasn't the peaceful getaway Floyd had in mind. The money man, I'm right here in Dubai, Rotana Star, luxury rentals. Check them out. When you come to Dubai, top flight, follow me. We got everything. McLaren in different colors. Ferraris, Lambos, whatever you want. Rolls Royce, Bugatti, whatever you want. When you come to Dubai, it's the place to be. Check it out. Crazy colors. Come on, man. Live flashy like Floyd Mayweather. Rotan and Star. Whatever you want, they got Rotan and Star. I wonder what was faster, those cars, or Gervonta Tank Davis's left hand from hell when he landed it on Floyd's chin. And as if that punch wasn't enough, look what Gervonta posted on X moments after their brawl in the airport. So this definitely took the beef to a whole new level of craziness. Trainer of Gervonta Davis, Calvin Ford is ready to get into this war. He said that karma is going to come for Floyd in the ring, and he's going to hit the canvas early. The other thing I want to touch on is the Floyd situation. You know, Floyd is Floyd. That's like I say, tank is tank, man. But at the end of the day, you know, the man is chasing greatness. And you should be supporting that. I always tell you that. You should be supporting that, you know. It's a rocky road that we see and what's going on. Just pay attention, man. The story is going to reveal itself, you know. But again, that's how you burn bridges. Uh, somebody said they said the true colors of a person that's coming out, man. They can't stand it, you know. Calm is the, I mean, I, I don't like using that word calm, you know. But our Lord knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.